lots of people are uh, fearful, a lot of anxiety. There is uh, lots of conflict. I'm talking about peace, how to find uh, a, a healthy sense of balance. No fear, but peace at Christmas. No fear, but peace at Christmas. Uh, lots of people as you go toward Christmas, a uh, uh, lot of anxiety, uh, busyness, uh, conflict among relationships. This is uh, Walk and Talk 140. It's December 15th. 34 degrees. I think the high today is in the mid 50s. Uh, Mesa, Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona. I'm reading Luke chapter 2, verses 8 to 11, and I'm going to identify uh, how to find peace. Uh, even when life is crazy and you can't figure things out and you get surprised, you get ambushed. Uh, when you find yourself in a situation where you get terrified or frightened. Luke chapter 2 is the story of Christmas. Luke chapter 2 verse 8 says, In the same region, uh, that is a reference to the area around Bethlehem. Picture hills and low hills and valleys and in the same region there were shepherds staying out in the fields keeping watch over their flock at night so shepherds uh, used to darkness they're used to uh, challenges they're used to trouble they're out literally at night most of us uh, find ourselves with fear, feeling fear or anxiety uh, at nighttime. Uh, we can't see what's going on around us. Uh, the darkness creates uh, some uh, uneasiness. In the same region, there were shepherds staying out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock at night. Uh, you might be at work. You could be at home. Uh, you could be doing something and then all of a sudden something else happens that you're not expecting. Verse 9, Luke chapter 2 verse 9 says, and, and then suddenly an angel of the Lord stood near them. I mean, we're talking supernatural surprise. This is beyond expectation. They're not at all thinking about a supernatural being standing near them. And they responded like anybody would respond to something that's spectacular as an angel. The glory of the Lord shone around them and they were extremely terrified. Notice the what makes us fearful. Uh, the usually the unexpected. Uh, things that we weren't planning for. Things bigger than us, things we can't control, things we can't possibly understand. You have here in Luke chapter 2, verses 8 and 9, the contrast between shepherds who are under control, and then you have the supernatural, which you do not have control. There's many things in life that will happen to you that are beyond your control. And I'm going to submit to you Christmas the birth of Jesus Christ is beyond your control or your understanding. It is way beyond your comprehension. Suddenly, 
an angel from God is standing there. And this angel is so bright, the phrase says, the glory of the Lord shone around them. The glory of the Lord penetrated the darkness. So just magnify the biggest uh, uh, light, uh, flashlight or outdoor light that you can imagine just exploding with light but it's not a human light it's the glory of the Lord and then verse 10 says the ain't so they're frightened they're scared the angel says to them do not be afraid for behold I bring you good news of great joy which will be for all the people God has no desire to make people afraid. God knows when you're feeling anxiety. The angel said to the shepherds who are terrified, who are frightened, don't be afraid. When God is at work, and I submit to you, he's always involved in your life. God is always near. God is always connected. The statement, do not be afraid of your circumstance. Do not be afraid of this powerful light, this angel of the Lord. Don't be afraid. When you can't understand your circumstances, when the surprises come at you and they will come don't be afraid when the unexpected the tragedy the difficulties the fear inside don't be afraid I'm encouraging you to take this verse do not be afraid for behold I bring you good news of great joy which will be for all the people I'm suggesting that God has only good news he he's not bad news good is associated here with God God's desire is only good When you stop and think about Christmas and you consider people giving gifts to each other, we smile. When you stop and consider family coming together, friends coming together, when you think about Christmas, don't be afraid. I bring you good Great joy, I bring you good news. And then the the phrase says, great joy. So what's the opposite of fear? What is the opposite of anxiety? Joy, good news, peace. Verse 11 says, for today in the city of David, there has been born for you a savior who is Christ the Lord. Uh, Let me give you a couple of uh, observations. Number one, Christmas is every day. You don't have to wait to celebrate Christmas once a year. Christmas is every day. Every day, God says to you, don't be afraid. Every day, God says to you, good news every day God says I've got great an opportunity for great joy every day God says to you a Savior Jesus Christ has been born see a Savior the second suggestion a Savior is someone who helps who rescues. 
when you're feeling fearful, anxiety, when you're sensing uh, insecurity, when you're starting to distress, think good news, a savior. Who's that savior? Lots of us are trying to save ourselves. We're trying to solve all of our problems. And what happens? We just complicate it. The good news is you're not the Savior. I'm not the Savior. The good news is Jesus Christ is the Savior. And that's supernatural. An angel suddenly appears in the darkness, in the, in the dead of night. And we go from darkness to light. Many of us, once you turn the light on, many of us quiet, have our spirits quieted. Let me give you another suggestion. These verses are pointing out that you need a Savior. Everybody does. Remember that little phrase? It says, for today, great joy will be for all the people. Everybody struggles with fear. Everybody struggles with brokenness. And everybody needs help. And specific help. And that would be Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is born supernaturally from God and offers you forgiveness and your enemies and your friends forgiveness. Jesus was born to bring you joy, peace. When people around you fail you, you have to realize they need a savior. Let me give you another suggestion. When you look at these verses, this is about shepherds being told, don't be afraid. The strongest people in the world, uh, the, the strongest soldiers, uh, the, the strongest people you can imagine, terrified. Uh, Navy SEALs, it's overwhelmed by what they see. And the angel says, don't be afraid. The glory of the Lord, the quality of God, the essence of God, the attributes of God, the glory, the light of God is so overwhelming. Don't be afraid. You need help. I need help. And it doesn't matter if you're rich or poor or a shepherd or you happen to be Joseph and Mary. Christmas is celebrating no fear, but peace. A Savior, your Savior, Jesus Christ. We don't understand, I don't understand what it means. For today in the city of David, there's been born for you a Savior who is Christ Lord. I don't understand this 100%, but I take it at face value. I believe there is a God and humanity knows how to mess things up and we get terrified, we get fearful, we get upset and there is a God who says, I'm going to solve the problem. The story of forgiveness, of redemption. The story of no fear but peace is from the book of Genesis to the end of, the, of Revelation in the Bible. 
the gospel story is God extending his hand and offering forgiveness to broken people. When you you feel insecure, when you're frightened, when you're in danger, remind yourself there is a God. He's right there. He has a plan. There is a Savior. That Savior is Jesus Christ, born in Bethlehem, and 30-some years later will be crucified in nearby Jerusalem on a cross. He'll be crucified until he's dead, will be buried. The Bible says three days later, part of Friday, part of Saturday, all, all of Saturday, and then part of Sunday, and Sunday morning, the resurrection. And he dies on a cross, he's crucified, he takes the punishment for all of the foolishness, all of the sin, all of the failures of you and me. And here in Bethlehem, the statement, don't be afraid. The angel of the Lord suddenly stood near them and the glory of the Lord was everywhere. When I think of the glory of God, I think of I'm safe. When I think of a savior, I think I'm safe. When I think of an angel nearby, I think I'm safe. We live in a world where the supernatural is often ignored, canceled. I'm gently saying to you, Christmas is a powerful, life-changing gift from God. But you got to believe. Let me give you another suggestion. These verses, Luke chapter 2, verses 8 to 11, these verses were given several hundreds of years before this event in Micah, Micah chapter 5, and other uh, additional verses in the Bible. These shepherds had it a little bit easier to believe. There's an angel radiating light, God's glory, a talking angel. It's the dead of night, but the Bible set it all up for us. The Bible gives us prophecy to say, Roger, no fear. Roger, peace. The Bible is gently saying, and as a matter of fact, in verse 14 of Luke chapter 2, peace on earth, peace among people who believe. So from prophecy to the darkness of the night in Bethlehem in a shepherd's hill, believe. Believe that there is a God, that humanity, people cannot save themselves. And when you're faced with anxiety, when, you, when fear begins to make you sick or nauseous or threatened or challenged or paralyzed, remember, great joy, good news, a savior. There are angels 
angels who talk. There is a Bethlehem. Jesus Christ was born. Not only does the Bible record that, but evidence in other books, like the book of Josephus, other uh, historical archaeological facts have pointed clearly. The Bible itself is certified again and again by scientific discovery. Believe. No fear, but peace at Christmas. And remember, Christmas is every day. Christmas is a savior announced to shepherds by a talking angel with brilliant light in the dead of darkness in the hillside of, she of Bethlehem to shepherds keeping watch over their flock by night. Shepherds were terrified. You'll be terrified at life. This is Walk and Talk 140, December 15th. Let me encourage you. Keep Jesus Christ alive in your mind throughout the day. Every time you start to feel insecure, upset, fearful, anxiety, begin to stress out, you need a Savior. I need a Savior. That's part of humanity. And that's the best part. This baby born in Bethlehem offers forgiveness, offers salvation. Don't be afraid of life. Don't be afraid of the circumstances around you. God is right there with you. You may not see God. You may not see the angels. You may not have a talking angel. I'm just gently saying to you the supernatural salvation of God is very, very clear all throughout the Bible. It's a chilly uh, 37 or 38 degrees. Uh, walk and talk on 40 December 15th. I want to invite you to walk to Bethlehem. It's a uh, Titanic uh, Christmas display in our backyard in uh, Mesa, Arizona, 618 West Natal Circle. This uh, display is Luke chapter 2, and it has a shepherd's field and big paintings of Joseph and Mary traveling to Bethlehem, people traveling to Bethlehem to register for the census, a census itself, the village of Bethlehem, uh, the nativity. Just want to encourage you, celebrate Christmas. That's where you find peace. No fear. We have our uh, worship services this coming Sunday, First Baptist Church, Tempe, uh, 4525 South McClintock, uh, 8 o'clock, 9.30 and 11, as well as 6 p.m. It's a, a beautiful time to experience the peace of God. Blessings on you.